This is a PRS SE Frederick Atkinson signature model. Mahogany body, maple top with quilted veneer, ebony fretboard, 22 frets, 24.5 inch scale length, 2 volume, 2 tone, 3 way pickup selector, no coil tapping or splitting, just full humbucking. PRS calls this a, a wide fat neck. Um, I think the width is, is pretty standard to me, feels the same as all my other guitars. Uh, it definitely is a fat neck though, uh, but not super thick. It's got a nice C shape and I find it to be very comfortable. The finish is, is very subtle. In most light, the guitar looks pretty black with a, a slight round tinge. Uh, but when you look at it closely, you can see that there's a quilted veneer. You can also get a nice wood grain on the back. So this particular one weighs about 3.8 kilos, which is 8.4 pounds. It's not too heavy, um, but heavy enough for it to resonate nicely. <laughs> Pickups are just generic PRS SE pickups. Um, I thought I was going to need to change these out before I bought it, but they sound great to me and I have no plans in changing them out. Scale length is, is 24.5 inch, so it's, it's very short compared to other guitars. Uh, this means that the strings are going to feel a bit looser, um, a bit easier to bend than compared to the same string gauge on a longer scale neck. Um, it also means that, that the frets are going to be a little bit closer. And this is actually the reason I bought the guitars, because I've, I've got small girly hands, so having the frets closer together means my left hand doesn't have to stretch as much. Uh, when I'm playing chords or, or difficult licks, it's just easier for me to play. So it's purely just a preference thing. Because of the shorter scale length, I put a thicker gauge uh, string on the guitar, 10 to 52s, which isn't really a thick gauge, but I actually had to cut the nut slots uh, to fit the strings. And the nut slots were so tight that you could barely even fit regular strings in them. Um, it was an easy fix, uh, but say if you're a beginner buying this guitar, you may not recognize that issue, and you'll just end up with a lot of tuning issues. What I do like about the guitar, uh, the neck's very comfortable as I've said before. Uh, the guitar sounds great, it's easy to play. Uh, there is a, a body contour on the back, so unlike a Les Paul, it re rests against your body really nice, very comfortable. One of the things I don't like about single cut guitars is most of them will basically have a, a sharp edge on the side here, on the body, making it uncomfortable for your right arm, at least for me. 
Uh, but this particular one, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's actually uh, slightly beveled on the sides there. So slightly curved, so there's no sharp edges digging into you, your right arm when you're playing. And the last thing I guess is it, it just feels like an expensive guitar. Um, it's the best value for money that I've ever had with a guitar and I'd highly recommend one to anybody.